Duncan was trying to make up for lost time when he came across the workman once again. I can't be beat. I can't hear any more complaints. <laughs> Seems to anything late today. At the end of the journey, Mr. Percival was waiting for Duncan. <coughs> Sir, I know what you're going to say, and I'm truly sorry. Thank you for saying so, Duncan. But why did you take Scarlowy's coaches and speed through the railworks and ignore the guard's whistle? Because of that grumpy passenger, sir. I was trying to stop him complaining. Duncan, I know that passenger well. He's always grumpy, and he always finds something to complain about. But today, you made everybody grumpy. Yes, sir. I, I know, sir. From now on, you must do your best to ignore that man and get on with doing your job properly. Will do. Thank you, sir. <whistles> That evening, when Duncan passed the men working on the line, he decided to smell like Evening, Duncan. It's surprising to see you smiling at the end of a busy day. But I've had a good day, Reneas. Today, I learnt a very important lesson. I'm going to change my ways and be a different engine from now on. Just you wait and see. Really? You mean you're going to stop grumbling once and for all? No, I mean I'm going to stop listening to that grumpy old passenger and just get on with being really useful. Good for you, Duncan. Good for you. All right, all right. I'm going. Stop. So that's just what they did. The driver changed the lens from red to white, and Gator pulled Oliver's cars all the way to the docks without any further trouble. Well done, Gator. You're just in time.